friends, it's Miss Rachel here one more time with one last exercise that we're going to do to keep our bodies super strong and healthy. Now today, we're going to do the drumstick workout. And to do the drumstick workout, we're going to actually need two people. So we are going to invite our friend, Mr. Nick, the awesome Mr. Nick, to come on in. And he's going to pretend to be a kid. And he's actually going to do the exercise for you guys and show you how you're going to move your body. Okay? Now I'm going to turn into a drummer. And right here, I've got two wooden spoons. They're going to be my drumsticks. And I have a pillow to pretend to be my drum. And I want to use a pillow that way it's not too loud for the neighbors downstairs. So here's how we do this. All right. I'm going to play three different beats. And each beat is going to tell Mr. Nick how to move his body because he's going to move the same as the beat. So the first beat is a slow beat, just like this. And when we play the slow beat, he's gonna march, just like he is. Mm -hmm. That's how we're gonna move our bodies, nice and slow. But then, I'm gonna play a fast beat. And for the fast beat, he's gonna run. He's gonna run in place and not go anywhere. But he's gonna go really fast. But then, I'm gonna play an up high beat. And for the up high beat, he has to jump. Now notice how he's jumping with his legs together and his arms up, that's our body hop. That's what we're using, all right, friends? So. The first couple of rounds, I'm going to play the three beats in order. So that means I'm going to play fast, or I'm sorry, I'm going to play slow, fast, up high, or march, run, and jump, okay? So you'll know what's coming next. But then, after we've done it a couple times and you're used to the order, I'm going to switch it up and I'm gonna get very tricky with it. So I might switch the beats all around and make it super crazy. So pay close attention to the beats, keep your voices nice and quiet so that you can hear how I'm playing the drum, and follow along with Mr. Nick. Okay, Mr. Nick, are you ready? Ready. All right, here we go. And we're gonna start with our slow beats. And we're marching, pumping those arms, picking up those knees. There we go. He's running. He's going so fast. Fast like lightning. And now he's jumping. He's jumping again. Keeping those arms up high. Jumping off those toes. And we're walking again. Okay. Now because running and jumping are a lot faster than walking, it makes our heart rates go really fast when we run and we jump. So while we walk, what we want to do is catch our breath our breaths. So take some deep breaths, just like you're smelling those flowers and blowing out the petals, and rest while you march. But now, run! Go really fast! Get your mom, get your dad, get your brother, get your sister, 
Probably not your dog, because your dog probably will not be very good at playing drums. But so long as you get someone else, you can do this at home. Of course, ask your grown-up if it's okay, if you can use some wooden spoons or anything that you can really turn into a drumstick. And hey, maybe you even have actual drumsticks at home. That would be awesome. So make your drum, use a pillow, because otherwise it gets too loud and have some fun. And whoever you do it with, you can play the drums for them while they do the exercise, and then they can play the drums for you while you do the exercise. Have a blast, all right guys? So, great job this week, and we'll see you soon. Bye.